Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, gentlemen and ladies, uh, the other way. Hello, people. Well, uh, there's been a lot of talk of, about this topic of uh, buffer float, and today I want to show you how you can mitigate uh, this buffer float uh, quite easily mm, on a cheap way. Uh, there's a lot of uh, these small routers, uh, what you see here, let me show you. I think uh, most of you can recognize what this is. Uh, this is an Edge Router X. Uh -huh. uh, what you do, uh, the first thing you do, uh, the Edge Router X has uh, quite some good uh, SQM, uh, has, uh, the queuing protocols, the cake, um, FQ Codel. But uh, if you want to really push this thing to its limit, uh, you need to flush it with a uh, open WRT. As you can see, this has been flushed with the latest version of open WRT. Uh, it runs it's very stable, runs very well, uses very little uh, CPU. And uh, after you have uh, after you have installed open WRT, you need to go to system software and install something called a uh, sqm you install a package called uh, sqm uh, with sqm after you have installed it you will find the, uh, the sqm as uh, on a tab called uh, sqm uh, sqm uh, smart queue management uh, yeah it's a queue management so here you the best approach to uh, cake, uh, the cake uh, queuing protocol, the best approach is to, if you have, uh, let's say you have a uh, 10 MPBS line and you want a uh, cake to really work very well on it, uh, you need to define that your speed is uh, uh, 8,500 kilobits or 8.5 MPBS, uh, yeah, you give it around 85% uh, of your actual speed so that it has a 15% overhead not defined in the queue yeah it's very it's a click and uh, it's a click and go system out here you come and you choose cake or fq corner but cakes work very well uh the queue script setup is a piece of cake os and then you need to show and use advance and no cn and then uh, there is something that a lot of people forget for those who have used uh, open wrt uh, you need to give it uh, to tell it which layer to account for. So let's say your uh, your connection comes in via PPPoE or fiber. You need to get it. Uh, you have a packet overhead of 44. You have to play with this packet overhead to know what your your ISP is really doing because there should be some packet overheads in what your ISP is giving you. Yeah, that's it. You define that. You save and apply. And you are good to go. So you still can see I uh, set myself at uh, 5 MPBS. Uh, let's do a quick test. Uh, this is a wireless link coming in by wireless around uh, 8 kilometers away. It's not very good, but uh, the edge router and uh, K are doing something, quite some good job. There we go. There we go. We have a three. There we go. There we go. see no latency increase at all none at all it's zero it's doing its thing that's cake in action guys you can see i'm getting an a plus i can't really get a 4k video streaming because i've just muted myself to 5 mpbs video conferencing too and low latency gaming because uh, my latency my loaded latency is quite high as you can see but yeah that's it i'm getting an a plus on this test no increase at all because of uh, cake on an edge router 
Uh, what you guys, uh, what guys should really do uh, that uh, will make uh, things very easy would be uh, to have the edge uh, router. You, I believe uh, most of you guys, uh, most of the guys who have uh, this problem uh, are using uh, home links uh, and uh, those, most of those home links are delivered to the ISP's uh, router first and then you guys pick it from their router. Have, uh, so probably by uh, dynamic IP or something and uh, you load balance and you do your stuff. So I propose, uh, let's say you have, uh, let's say for those who are using, uh, let's say something like Safaricom or something, uh, you have the uh, uh, your way router, so that your way router becomes the, uh, the, the that your way router becomes the last router so you put uh, this edge router after the your way router and then you put your micro tick now after you put your micro tick now on the edge router so the all the clients traffic go through the edge router that way the edge router only has one uh, sqmq or sq to control all the traffic so if you have 100 mpbs you define it as 85 and you are good to go no more buffer flow. That's today's lesson, man, people. Have a good evening.